what you need to do is get a grip and I'm here to help you do it. <laughs> Stud and boots, that's what the video is today. These are tungsten studs from car tires that they use in Scandinavia and probably other colder countries. So today we're going to talk about this, how to stud up your boots and the type of handwear that I like to use in the Northern Hemisphere. To do this, you're going to need two things. You're going to need this tool here, just like that. And then you drive it into the shoe with either the drill or the screwdriver. Okay. Some tungsten carbide studs for car tires. That's what you're going to need. They will last a long time and they will not come out of your boots. The reason being is the thread there and the depth of the stud. It will only go in four millimeters, which is important considering how thin the soles and walking boots are today. Uh, rubber boots, you're, you're, you're good. You can put pretty much whatever kind of studs you want in them. But walking boots, they have this foam sole and they have this rubber goes over it. And the thickest part of it is just the thread there. And it's not very thick at all. It only goes up about to there. If the studs are any longer, they'll go into your boot. If you know what I mean. You can see what I mean. They'll go into your boot, and your boots will be ruined, your feet will be wet and cold, and that's pointless. Because you can't fish anymore. So I'll give you a closer look at these. So that's them. Or at least one of them anyway. There's the stud up the top there. And then you can see the thread on it. Goes in really quickly, and because it's so broad, it won't come out. It holds in the shoe extremely well. Boom. There's the studs there. The, the front ones are the most worn out ones. Don't know if you can tell, but you can feel if they still got their edges on them or not. That ratchet one there is grand. This one here needs to be replaced. That one's grand. That one needs to be replaced. So we're just going to replace one or two of them so you get a picture. So I'm just going to take one out and replace it. They're a bit tricky sometimes, we just need to keep turning and eventually they'll come out. There we go. So now you can see it's quite rusted and knackered and sooner or later if you don't replace it it's going to break off inside your shoe and then you won't be able to get it out and you won't be able to replace it either so then replacing them is as simple just with the screwdriver because when you're putting them in for the first time you're going to have to use a drill because it hasn't made the channel yet there we go Boom. that's how easy it is so that's how to replace them anyway it's pretty simple so how do you put them in in the first place well that's just as simple as it is the main thing to remember is you got to keep them straight they will go wonky sometimes it's not the end of the world but generally they're easier to replace and they wear better if you put them in straight and they will stay in longer although i haven't had any problems with these coming out at all i haven't lost one the entire year and it's not like I'm taking care of it and I'm kicking into the ground and spinning around and all sorts of stuff. I'm not doing pirouettes or anything, but like, you know, turning on your toes and stuff like that when you're fishing or you're baiting up or whatever. So, how would you put them in? Same tool. Ooh. Need a drill? You need a drill for this. You can't do it otherwise. You can't push and get it to turn quick enough and hard enough. Keep the um, circular motion going to drive it into the shoe because the the rubber on the boots is quite hard and it just needs that first edge there to catch and then it will drive itself in without too much trouble but it's the first one and keeping it straight and getting it to catch it the first time is the it's the tricky bit and it's not even that tricky so don't worry about it so just line it up get it nice and straight you can see what i mean push really hard or it will drift like that 
there you go that's it let's check it out see it's nice and straight which it is Bumsky. and then just slowly have the drill drill on slow obviously and then just now you want the base of the stud flush with the boot that's it otherwise they'll come out now the rest of it you can do by hand I recommend or you'll knacker your studs or your boot it's nearly there so then I switch over to the hand tilt just give it a couple of turns to get it to go into the boot one more there we go lovely job I mean you won't get them perfectly straight but that will do the job no problem you will get some of them perfectly straight but not all of them that will do the job no bother so we do one more will we yeah buying the studs if you get them from a retailer this side of russia you're gonna pay a lot of money for them i got them from china i think you figured out by now where i get them from if you just want a link just ask admittedly it's kind of you know not everybody wants studs in their boots but i find them immensely useful they've saved my bacon on more than one occasion so we just do one more Push hard. There you go. How hard was that? There you go. Bump ski. Lovely. So, you've watched me fish in these boots all summer and a bit of the autumn as well. And you can see that all the studs are where I put them. Because you'd see a black hole a little hole where there wasn't any so these studs are the business and they're cheap as well i think i get with the tool as well 15 quid with the tool for 50 studs i think you'll have to check it out and you can just do it yourself if you send the boots off to be done you'll have to pay for the postage then you have to pay for the guy with the knowledge to do it so what i'm doing here is just sharing the knowledge that i got so if you need studs and you don't want to pay an arm and a leg for them you know how to do it now anyway i've watched lots of videos on youtube and nobody could do it right people were putting screws through the bottom of their shoes and everything else that's how to stud up your boots the next thing i want to talk about is your hands this is how i deal with the cold in norway in the winter inside the arctic circle or below it's uh, if it blows and it's two degrees it's like minus six if it's minus six and it blows a little bit it's like minus 12 if it's minus 12 and it blows a little bit go home that's what i suggest anyway so um yeah i'll show you what i put in my hands so this is what i wear in the winter in norway yes but not only this these will keep your hands dry and you can bait up with these on if it's particularly cold and you don't want to expose your hands to the element you can't tie knots with them but with a bit of practice you can bait up with them as long as it's not a really complex bait and then when i'm fishing i will put a pair of gloves over this this is what i fish with like when i'm reeling in or whatever obviously you're gonna have to have your fingers out with the gloves to guide the line if you use a multiplier but the rest of your hand isn't going to be exposed this is what i mean so now your hands they're both kept dry and they're kept warm you have to keep the wind off your hands obviously otherwise you're not going to be able to fish and this is how i deal with it anyway and it works really well for me also chemical pocket warmers you can pick them up virtually any outdoor store in norway or even the some of the motor factories in norway will have chemical pocket warmers battery ones are useless in the cold <laughs> in really bad cold because the battery will drain out of them really quickly so what you want is chemical ones not battery ones or um the fuel lighter ones they're probably really good as well but i just like the chemical ones you just throw them in your tackle box if you're not using them they're still there and if you need them you just whip them out there you go then they are activated by the air and so i just take them out and just put them in my pocket and then if i've had my gloves off and my hands are freezing or whatever like that i just put my hands in my pockets and warm them back up and then put the gloves on because your hands get cold you're finished if your feet get cold you're finished as well these are the boots that i use in norway during the winter what makes these boots special is the thickness of the sole and it insulates your foot from from the cold from the piers or the rocks 
or whatever you're standing on. I have never had cold feet in Norway wearing these type of boots. Um, people that work in industrial freezers and that will wear boots like this. Uh, deck hands on boats in Norway as well, they'll wear boots like that as well. So, I am Billy, this is Billy telling you how to get a grip and keep warm in Norway in the winter. Wherever you are in the world, fish on and I'll see you on the beach. Bye.